Nestled in the halls of Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, is an innovative and unusual laboratory. A lot different than I think most of the labs at Mayo and certainly other institutions as well. Complete with a cupboard filled pantry, stove top, fridge, kettles and pots and pans, this lab is affectionately referred to as... A lot of times people will call it a media kitchen. And while many of their recipes have familiar ingredients like sugar, salt, vegetable juice, and even eggs. This is our egg yolk enrichment. Um, you know, this is commercially purchased. We're not taking, you know, eggs out of a, a carton like you would at home. The dishes made by these scientific chefs are not for human consumption. We're not cooking up breakfast. Instead, this lab is making media. It's a term for the environment used to culture things like bacteria, fungal organisms, and even viruses. Liquid media is generally called a broth, and um, jelly-like or more solid media is generally called um, auger. Over 180 different mediums are prepared in this kitchen. We heat it up on a stove just like you would uh, at your own house. And once it comes to a boil, the broth is essentially done. Eventually and literally dished up. The pump is pulling the auger out of the flask and then dispensing measured volumes into our petri dishes. For testing at Mayo's clinical microbiology labs. It can really narrow in um, what, what is impacting the patient. It is, pretty, it is pretty warm. There's several different types of bacteria and fungal organisms out there, hundreds, thousands. We do a quality control to ensure that it will grow um, what we need it to grow and also that it uh, does not have any contamination with it. So we, we will follow a lot of standard operating procedures. Following a recipe just like you would in your house, um, adding different ingredients in order to make the correct auger, the correct compounds. Which is so important in every kitchen because... Yes, in some cases you can burn your toast. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Jason Howland.